That's yeah. funny. Right. So he's definitely a like industry leading expert in agency and ads. All right then. Now I have to fucking go for real. That's All that's right. the only reason really I'm going, to be honest. Like that. For the perpetual traffic guy. I just want to see. I, yeah, I never met him. I wanna I wanna see what he talks about. I've I've listened to some of his podcasts and stuff, but everything else, like I figure it might be the same. I know Nick's gonna talk about some stuff and Chandler Bolt, who's like an author, best selling writer. So this is like an upgrade from the Boulder event then. This is like Boulder event was just John. Now it's John plus more things, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Well, let's get this party started. Oh, it's this us two. one right here is, say what? It's just us two, huh? I know, right? I'm so bummed. Okay. Um, so here is my carpet cleaning ad. Uh, hey, Miami homeowner, sick and tired of blank, blank, and blank. I got this from the customer research. The problem with customer research for the carpet cleaning company is that I ran it in Miami and I got like five to 10 responses. Then I dropped it in FAFE and then I got like 30 responses. Um, so that was kind of unique, I think. Uh, I'm giving away a three room wall to wall carpet, deep cleaning, stain examination, inspection, blah, 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 for 147. Um, and these two things came from, what's it called? The carpet cleaning company. Obviously we'll come to you. I don't know why I put that, whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> obviously right um this is just a picture of like him and his team what yeah. was interesting is i ran the sucker and i think this darn thing bombed like we tried 147 and then 97 and then like 59 dollars. but the end result is like the price point here was 50 percent more that you could get on groupon or even yeah. any rush just by calling around um despite that i got 15 one five customer opportunities in the first 30 days which is pretty cool and then on the 28th day, I just sent a text out to all of his old leads. And I said, quote, hey, this is Jeff with Carpet Cleaning Company. Just wondering if there's any problems I can solve with your carpet, drapes, or flooring. And then a bunch of people responded. I just used click send to send it out. And then we hit 30 customer opportunities real fast. Um, if I had to redo this sucker, I would just lower the price point and just say like one bedroom or buy one bedroom, get a second bedroom free type thing. Um, but it worked, right? So that's fine by me. Um, no questions on this, right? Because it's just you and me, you know. No, yeah, that, that's cool. Um, do you feel that the the I guess your your mentality on hey, you know what, get a cheaper deal on Groupon. Um, one one thing to note on that too is that when you're on there on Facebook, you're not necessarily researching or going to research after. It's more of an impulse lead, yeah. right? So yeah, maybe you get to get more with the with the lower price point but I wouldn't really care too much what the competition is putting on there. Okay. So we just needed a lower price point. Like 147 is yeah. a hard yes. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> just think about it, right? Like nobody that's, that sees an offer on Facebook for the most part, the average person not going to go, okay, let me see if I can get a better deal than this somewhere else right now. You know, they're not going to go do all that, that crazy research. They're just going to forget about it. Like they always do until they get a phone call. Well, here's what's interesting. So someone else in the group ran this sucker. Um, it's his version of the carpet cleaning ad and he got 37 customer opportunities for 140 bucks. Hey Jack, what's going on? Hey, what's um, up guys? This hey. ad, Hey, Orangeburg residents are like no different than like, Hey, Miami homeowners or whatever. How would you feel if you could get a home to clean living environment? Blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Hey, I'm Jeff, the owner of a company doing something crazy to promote our carpet cleaning company. He gave away 15 vouchers for 75 bucks off the initial home cleaning. So you can blah, 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 some couple testimonials and a carousel. I think these are stock photos, right? Especially this one over here. It almost looks like they Photoshopped the face in there. Um, but he gave away 15 vouchers for 75 bucks off. I was giving away a 40, $147 cleaning. He says that he was targeting homeowners, but women performed much better. And he got 37 customer opportunities for 140 bucks. Um, there's an implication that they're going to buy. I think if they get like this $15 or the 15 vouchers for $75 off, like, Hey, when would you like us to come over, redeem your voucher, stuff like that. So it worked. And this was by Brett Watts. Um, he says, this is a while back. And he only charged him 500 bucks. It was like a second pay client. He would never do it that cheap again, but it was just him getting started. And it looks like he got 37 customer opportunities for 140 divided by 37 for like $3 each, three, four bucks each. So 
I think that's a win, right? Yeah, no, that's great. Um, any questions on this sucker? Did he say whether uh, they stayed with him or not? Um, he did mention that he had another, I think that was Paxton saying that Jim dropped him. Um, right, yeah. But Brett didn't say like if they stayed with him, I think Brett gave the implication that he dropped to them because it was only 500 bucks and things like that. I think this is like first or second client. Um, let's look at James Cluster's dentist ad. This should be cool. So James did an interview a while back and he ended up getting like 700 leads in seven months or something like that. Um, and this is the ad that got it. By the way, what's funny is like, I would have never run this ad ever, but James fucking beat me to it, right? Like this doesn't follow anything I like doing, but it worked, right? Um, hey, area code party people. So like 305, 805, whatever. Someone has a birthday coming up. That means lots of selfies, pictures, and smiles. We wanna make sure your smile Make sure you smile at your brightest on your big day. So we're giving away free in-house teeth whitening. Click book now. Um, and then I ask him, was this targeting anyone that had a birthday within 30 days? And he goes, yes. And it looks like mostly women between 30 and 50 with upcoming birthday, that's a targeting thing, or birthday in that month. Um, and so what he would do is like, if it was uh, like he's launched the campaign in May, targeting women who had birthdays in June. So that type of thing. Um, yeah. and it looks like it worked because he got like 700 leads. They would come in. I think the way he made money was like, come in and get your free teeth cleaning or sorry, come and get your free whitening and get a teeth cleaning for 40 bucks. Um, and his dentist made an F ton of money with it. So it worked out pretty well. Um, and I think this is like interesting cause it's like the other way around, like charge and then get a free upgrade. He's like, get your free upgrade and then charge. So it kind of worked. Um, I think this is a stock photo. That's a real picture, but fuck, you know. Yeah, it works. <laughs> um, I believe, uh, and maybe it's, uh, Jack or you might know Jeff. Um, the targeting for the birthdays, I think you could target some anybody who has a birthday in the next 30 days, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he says he did two things. He did upcoming birthdays. So I think that's birthday within 30 days, right? Something like that, yeah. And then birthdays in that same month. Okay. Um, and that's I always look for ways to try and not to have to go in and fuck with ads after. <laughs> so that's yeah, that's the problem. This is like a high maintenance ad, right? Like every yeah. month you have to go in and switch stuff around. Um, yeah. But shit, if this is your first dentist client, who cares, right? Go in and do the manual okay. change. Right? It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I guess that's like a huff and puff. Here is one from Paxton. He says he didn't have a photo. So it was more like a blog post type thing. It says he got 73 leads over a month. Hey, area, tired of wasting time at the gym and not knowing how to use equipment. I'm Richie with company and doing something amazing. I'm giving me a first month free consultation, training session, 30 day get started plan and 20. I think most of the stuff they just do normally, he was like making it obvious. Yeah. A couple testimonials. Um, Fabricio then asked past and you got 73 leads. How many people actually converted? Paxton says that his client converted five, but it wasn't enough to continue. Um, and he didn't get enough signups to justify my cost and Paxton was charging $2,900. So I guess that hints at my idea of like, I always hate free stuff, right? Cause like 73 to five sucks. Um, but shit, I mean, if this is your first gym client and you need something to get in the door fast, I think it's an easy yes. Um, but Paxton didn't have a photo, so who knows, right? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. He had a photo in the ad. He forgot to include it. It says it was just a staff standing in front of a wall. There you go. Um, any questions on this sucker? Uh, Jack is on mute. Not for me though. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. Cool. I think I saw recently, um, it wasn't one that I ran, but I'll see if I can dig it up again. Uh, it was in one of the Facebook ads groups. I don't know which. Um, but I think it was, I think it was a gym ad that had a, an upfront cost and it did like a stupid amount of leads. Um, I'll see if I can find it. Yeah. If you want to grab that, like ASAP, we can probably include in the working offer database, this video. Yeah, definitely. Not we do like version two. Um, feeling it from somebody else, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, probably. Right. Yeah. Everybody does that shit. Okay. Here's another one from Alex Carvalho, Carvalho, real estate. Um, attention, 
I guess like Miami, Florida, like calling out cities. Do you know anyone looking to purchase a home? Follow here, I think that's a bit.ly link. I've compiled a report of homes under 249K. Some homes qualify for special financing. Follow here link, thanks. That's the realtor's number or realtor's name. PS, call or text me any questions at like, I think that's interesting just including the number in there. Always a bit risky, but whatever. Um, he says the offer was a report for gorgeous houses. Uh, his targeting was talking to 250K median audience for specific cities using interest in behavior, such as realtor, truly a family detached homes, buying a house, condominium, homes.com, real estate, real property, Zillow, first time home buyer grant, or pre qualification lending behavior directly to move. Um, his results included 10 leads in four days with $50 ad spend. And they got one sale, which is kind of interesting. I didn't think like ever, like it would be that fast. Um, the realtor made $8,000 and he got some good response from like social proof, like shares, likes, comments, things like that. Yeah. I ran a lot of ads like that. A lot. And they tend to work. Yeah. They still work. Oh, wow. I ran, I ran uh, just for fun. Um, I was just like, Oh, let me see if I can do a real estate ad. Fuck it. I'll just set up a fake page and run basically that exact ad. And, um, I spent $30 and got 16 leads in three days. Um, <laughs> just stupid. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I so have... I was going to, I was going to drop that in the, in the group, but Alex beat me to it. We've been going back and forth about it. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. So I'm going to, I have a realtor pitch on tomorrow. <laughs> so there we go. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm still. So does that mean you could like try white labeling this stuff? Like, if you're getting name, number, and email and leads for two dollars, you could sell for ten. Is that an option? Is that a thing? I don't know. If, I don't. The only thing I'm not sure about with that is like compliance with like like real estate regulations. I don't oh. know how. I don't know how that works. I wish that'd be sick. Yeah. So I I did that in the past where we um because uh, the challenge with real estate agents, they don't have a lot of money. So um, we took a group of real estate agents from like the same office and they all spent like three to 400 bucks each. And we just round robin the leads from the same. Uh, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Cool. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks, Valdi. Cool. Here is one from Bajorn. It's in German. Um, and he's, he, his Are you English. Gonna read it, bro? Say what? Are you going to read it? Yeah, right. Hello. Und umbagen wern beats. Yeah, that's that. Okay. So Bajorn in like, you know, hamstring English says, hello, city and outskirts. We offer this month a mega deal under the motto fit in 2018. Train now for 30 days completely free without obligation in fitness club. And grab your extra bonuses worth $179, including a fitness check, an individual workout plan, a one hour personal training, and get one out of 25 vouchers now while stocks last. Here's an introductory offer that's a link to the bit.ly. Um, the headline is grab your extra bonus for the $179 and train for 30 days free. Train now for 30 days completely free without obligation in fitness club and grab your extra bonus with $179. This targeting was everyone between 23 and 65 within 17 kilometers. So I'm guessing that's like five, six miles, probably wrong. Um, and he got 18 leads with 10 appointments set by phone in 18 days with 240 ad spend. So he spent 240 bucks and got 18 leads. So that's $30 a lead um, and $24 a phone call. It's kind of expensive, but it worked, right? So, so who cares? Um, yeah, that's all the, uh, that's all the comments. We can't really like talk about this because in fucking German or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> that picture is kind of scary. I don't like it. It's like. It looks like those guys are going to beat me up. <laughs> right? Like they're going to chase you. Like yeah. good thing they're on stationary bikes. Otherwise I'll catch up. <laughs> All right. So let's take a look at this. This one's Fabricio's. Um, he says, hello. Think about doing martial arts. Come and train one week. Absolutely free. Um, he says the targeting is you go to, to choose and it's sports, MMA, Taekwondo, Jiu Jitsu, or functional exercise. Only 30 passes available. Order yours now. Um, he did it for 10 miles around. I mean, martial artists, MMA, gym, sports interest. He got 60 leads. 
and 20, 30 more chat requests. So I get, I'm guessing people like ask the business page and things like that, sending messages um, and Facebook questions. So we got 60 leads, 20, 30 chats in seven days. Four ended up paying a month to continue, but he's still waiting on for more information from the owner. Um, they offered a free week and he's very happy, but oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, never mind. And then, so yeah, so this is just like free train one week. He ended up getting 60 leads, 20, 30 phone calls or uh, business chats in seven days and Fort ended up converting. Any comments on this Fabricio or is that about right? That's exactly what happened. Um, that was uh, after I designed for him a few stuff like a website, a bot. I took him to a free week of this. I did it for free. He paid the ads. Um, he's happy. He's a good guy. Uh, he's the best guy, customer I have. Kind of not for the customer and see, he's not paying me, but he's, he's he follows everything. He's a good guy. I trust him. He he told me all the truth. He he closed like four four people. He wants to do it again, but he got no money to pay. Ah, shit. <laughs> um... Yes. This is, I mean, I will continue working with this guy forever because he's great. He called me, he's happy. He wants to do more. He referred me a few people, all cheap stuff here. So anyway, I, I'm planning, I don't know, if you, if you see, I'm planning to, to focus my stuff on the States now. I'm calling everybody of my old friends around the Miami and everything. So I, I, you got competition. So if we're looking for like an easy 60 leads in seven days, looks like free one week trial works out pretty darn well. Um, we've got one from Oscar. This is in Spanish and it's a dentist. Um, I don't like the stock photo, but whatever. Uh, Oscar says that this was x-rays evaluation and regular cleaning for $37 with a value of $359. Targeted women, five miles, 24 to 44. 25 to 44 Spanish speaking, obviously, right? He ended up getting 114 leads in one month, 22 appointments, which total to, according to his onboarding doc math, $43,000 in customer opportunities. He got real $3,900 in sales and only spent 750 bucks. So that's pretty darn cool. It's a direct offer, makes a lot of sense. Um, and he ended up getting 114 leads that ended up turning into nearly $4,000 in sales. He only spent 750 bucks. So he's paying about $6 and five cents for a more qualified customer opportunity. Um, he says he started with traffic and then changed it to conversions. I think you don't have to do that anymore. You just go to like add set, choose extended and Facebook does it automatically. Um, it didn't include like a landing page or anything like that, but shit, it fucking worked, right? Um, his text says, hello, Miami or whatever city. Are you feeling any discomfort with your teeth or gums? Are you trying to hide your smile? Nothing pleasant, right? I guess that's like a translation thing. I have great news. Click the bit.ly link. You no longer have to continue living with those annoyances. I'm Dr. Miller and I'm doing something crazy to help you and at the same time promote my office. I have 25 vouchers for consultation, examination, x-ray examination, sorry, 25 vouchers for consultation, evaluation, x-ray examination, and partial cleaning for only 37 bucks. If you're ready to take control and start to live a life without pain and smile again, click on the link. P.S. I would very much like to meet you, so take advantage before they run out. Get your voucher, we all have a big smile, and return it and returning it to your face is our specialty. That's a translation thing. Um, it continues. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? The ad continues saying, what are they getting? Only $37 for teeth cleaning, x-ray examination, evaluation, consultation. Miami, take advantage. Get your voucher now. Just click the button. Blah, blah, blah. Some other stuff. So uh, Oscar ran this. And got 114 customer opportunities uh, really fucking fast in one month. So if there's like a dentist you need results for, copy and steal this. Um, he targeted women within five miles, 25 to 44 Spanish speaking. 
So this worked out pretty well. Jamie, what's going on? We were just going over Oscar's dentist ad. I know you're talking about changing it, so like, there you go. Um, yeah, so for the first cohort of like the working offer database, we went over a carpet cleaner. This was my carpet cleaner. We got 15 customer opportunities. I then saved it by doing a quick text check-in. So I sent a text to all of his old leads <laughs> saying like, are there any problems I can solve with like your carpet cleaning problems, things like that. Um, next up was Brett's version of a carpet cleaner. He got 37 customer opportunities out of $140. He targeted homeowners and women. Then there was this one with James who got like 700 customer opportunities. Uh, his basic idea was get free teeth cleaning and then the thank you offer, or sorry, was get a free uh, teeth whitening and then get a teeth cleaning for $39. Then there was Paxton who ran with this. He says the photo is just a picture of them standing up against the wall. He got 73 for converted customers. Alex Carvalho, this is a pretty standard one apparently, but he ended up getting one buyer uh, that made the realtor eight grand, which is pretty cool. And he got 10 leads for 50 bucks. That worked out pretty good. Then there's this one, which is very intimidating. I would not have chosen that photo. Um, but he got eight in leads and 10 appointments for 240 bucks. Then there's this one where we got 60 leads and four actual conversions. I think for, I'm not sure how many dollars. And then Oscars was this one right here for 100 plus leads. I, he didn't say how long, but he spent a 750 bucks and got over 100 leads. So now we have a dentist. Now we have a mixed martial arts place. Now we have a angry German cycling place. Now we have a real estate agent. And we have a gym. And we have a dentist. And we have a carpet cleaner. So like, no matter which chamber of commerce you go to, you've got an ad set that already runs copy and paste this sucker, right? Um, so are there any questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, ideas? This is just a short video that we're just dropping the course and things like that. I've got something that might be useful if you guys are interested in it. Yep. It's an ad that I ran, it's an ad that I ran oh, in 2016, so it was a while ago, um, before I was even really on like my whole journey. Um, but it was for a nonprofit client. Jeff, you might've seen this. I did a video of it on my wall Send um, it. a while. Um, the ad basically was a nonprofit where we were, it was to warm traffic and some cold traffic. And uh, if people donated, the nonprofit had lined up like a, a matching donor, if you know what I mean, someone yeah. to, so you, you donate 10, they donate 10. Um, and we spent like a hundred bucks on the ad and brought in like two grand, which was sick. Can you add copies? Ad? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, let me see if I can pull it up. You, you should have had it ready to go. You know, I was going to say, can you show us the ad? I know, I know. <laughs> Meanwhile, he look at it. Can I say something? Yeah, what's up? No, I, I want to say something. Uh, in my experience with the with with the working ad I, I show, uh, obviously I'm not continuing with the guy because he doesn't have man, money to pay. I just, for me, it's important to see in all these campaigns, what's the result and what's the continuation on this, which you are not talking about that. You sh obviously, we're talking about how, how much lead we generated, uh, but I want to know the proportion of the charge. On example, these campaigns are already here on, on, the, on the screen. How much the client was charged? Oh, I didn't ask that in the, the post, but next time I will like post your offer if they renew dollars, ROI, stuff like that. I'll do that next yeah, time. That, that's important to know because I want to know, hey, you charge them $3,000, 2,900. I get the it. Did I make, yeah. I get it, I understand. Jack. Okay. I got you guys. All right. Here we go. You can either send me a screenshot or we can share your screen. I'll share the screen, that's cool. 
You're up. Uh, here we go. Falls, I have you on mute for some reason. Yeah, that was me. Mm. You guys see that? Yeah. So this was a nonprofit, right? Yep. I'm going to see if I can zoom in here. Oh, that's not working. Yeah, so this was a nonprofit. You can see the copy. It just says, what better way to bring people together than by helping others if you donate to one of our crowdfunding charities. They were a crowdfunding nonprofit mm -hmm. through Giving Tuesday. That's that th after Thanksgiving uh, holiday where people donate. Uh, we'll, we'll match to double your donation. Uh, cool. Donate now and we'll double. Some copy down here. Learn more button. Stupid stock photo. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. The off, so I think it was the offer that really made it the win. The copy is nothing special. Um, what was the targeting? Um, it was a cold audience of uh, nonprofits that were like big nonprofits similar to what this company was doing. So they were like a Christian nonprofit. So there was a lot of, uh, a lot of like pro-life type things and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then a warm audience that was uh, – made up of like their website visitors over the past three months. Okay, cool. Yeah. Nothing crazy. Normal stuff. Yep. And so you spent 200 made two grand? Spent a hundred made two grand. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. It and was cool. Included the double donation thing. Yeah. Yeah. That included the double donation. So I guess we, we spent 100 and really made a thousand, a thousand, but works. Good shit. All right, so that's like the basic structure of how I want or how I really see like this working offer database going, which is, how do I go to me? So that's the, really the highlight of how I want this working offer database to like figure out. And there's always gonna be improvements, but it's really like, what's working? How do we leverage this to ourselves? Because everybody knows a carpet cleaner, everybody knows a plumber, there's a bike shop down the street, car washes, all that stuff. So if you're in a position where you wanna like scale and grow your agency, great, take shit off the shelf and just run it. Um, there's always an asterisk saying like, you know, just because shit ran in New York doesn't mean it's gonna work in Miami, but it provides some guidance. So I'm gonna chop this sucker up, I'm gonna drop it in the course. Was there any last comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, ideas? Or are we good to go? Supposed to have this ongoing stuff. I mean, everybody's gonna post something like this. How are you gonna put it up? So I'm gonna chop this up and put it in the course. So you can go and see working offers, you be like carpet cleaners, bike shops, stuff like that. And so whenever we get a new working carpet cleaning offer, it'll go right there. Whenever we get a new bike shop offer that's working, it'll go right there, plumbers, all that stuff. So when you go to a chamber of commerce and go like, I know a real estate agent, great, here's five real estate agents as that are working and this is how they work and we've had a conversation about it. So those kind of ideas. Are you gonna take the screenshots and put them in a drive? Say again, Baldeep. Can I take the screenshots and put them in a drive? Uh, I will do that actually, yeah. Might be easier than diving through video. Probably, <laughs> probably actually, yeah. Okay. Just um, make folders. You have like you have like carpet cleaner. Just like so, you have your niches. Make a folder for the niches. Just drop the the images in those folders. Because that's really all the info that you give anyway, right? Well, there's the targeting which I talked through, which I'll probably have to like. Fuck, you're right. Type okay, it. okay, yeah. <laughs> 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 all right. I'm going to get to work. Talk to you guys later. <laughs> See you guys. Bye. Hold up. Oh, I'm going to leave.
furniture for sale, edit post. We got a bunch to do today. Kissy baby, bye, bye, bye. Hold up. If you want to take a ride with me, baby, hit me one more time. Oh, I'm so glad this is not being recorded. So that way they don't know it's me saying it. All right. Where is the working offer? Working offer database. Oh, that's right. Everybody's at Austin. God damn it. This is going to be awkward. It's just me. Havan Aguila. What's up? What's going on? Hey, man. That guy pay you yet? No. Oh. I got an email from him today saying that he sent the proposal over to his marketing department and his general counsel. And he was like, yeah, it's a bank, so I guess it makes sense. And he was like, uh, he's just like, I just wanted to keep you in the loop because the lady's out till Wednesday. And I was like, okay, no problem. Thanks. And then two minutes later, he sent me a vendor approval form. And on it, there was a thing that said insurance certificate. So I talked to James and he was like, yeah, dude, tell him that you're a sole proprietor and that like you don't need insurance because you don't have any employees or an office. Mm -hmm. But if you really, if they real, if it's a real necessity and they want to work with you, that you'll, that you're happy to look into it. And then they would have to commit to a couple months because otherwise you don't need it for your other clients. And I was like, okay, so that's what I said. An excuse to sign them for longer is fine. Yeah. And then, uh, he just sent me a message saying, do you have a privacy policy? And I don't, do you? Is he just asking questions that his lawyer at the bank is asking him? Probably. Yeah. I don't have a privacy policy. It's Jeff. He promises not to use your stuff. Yeah, I don't. I don't care about the people who want mortgages from you. <laughs> right. I can't do anything with that. I have no idea. Um, shit, dude. Uh, make him give you money. I know, Stop. dude. I'm trying. <laughs> it's my birthday. Give me a fucking check. <laughs> I know, right? Like, I so uh, j for Fabricio and Jaden. Uh, hey guys. Jack hey. ended up meeting a guy at a networking event in person then they had coffee and then he signed he was gonna sign for 1500 a month or something like that yep, yep. and then it's just general bullshit because the guy works at a bank and his mortgages oh, and like shit. questions jack has never heard of that i've never heard of before so whatever but money is coming. Wait, fuck yeah it's fun. hope he hope he signs man me too thanks man fucking better <laughs> Dude, happy birthday so, by the way so into it he wants it so bad <laughs> he wants it so bad, but he's not fucking signing, man. What I the know, hell? I know. Well, when he said, he was like, I'm sending it over to compliance. I was actually like, oh, that's great. That will actually help me. So I know what words not to use in the ad. <laughs> like, I, yeah. I even spun it in a positive <laughs> way. That's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, man. The good news, though, though, is that he wouldn't be doing that crap if he wasn't going to pay you money. Exactly. True. Yes. And if like he insists on insurance, that's another negotiating chip for you to say like, look, I'll get the fucking insurance if you want, but that means I got to push you at like a three month or four month minimum. Yeah. As long as it's positive ROI, who gives a shit, right? Yeah. Cool. So that's what's up. Good stuff. Francis is here too. Cool. Cause we're going over Francis ad today. So today is volume two of the working offer database. One of the things that happened for me is I was growing my agency is every time I would sign a new client. I would freak out because I don't know what's supposed to go in the ad. I would do custom research. I don't know what works, blah, blah, blah. Standard stuff that your brain does to you that stops you from being successful quickly. And the previous working offer database has like a bunch of stuff already in it. And just so you guys know, for like anybody watching this, you already have access to it inside of the course. And we've got... Car wash, brewery, roofer, pharmacist, child behaviors, biking, gym, real estate agent, dentist, and carpet cleaner, which is pretty fucking cool. And this is volume two of that. So we're going to be going over all the working offers that are working for us right now. That's generating lead sales and ROI. Add targeting, all that fun stuff. We don't talk about the follow up or the follow through, but we're just trying to remove that brain flare and that frustration and remove the friction of when we sign a client and our comfortability of launching as well as our comfortability approaching a client with an ad that works. 
that said, here's the first one. This is Hollywood Perfect Smile. It's a dentist one hour north of me. I actually used one of the already working offers as inspiration for the offer that's going up here now. I did not install a pixel. They did not give me an email database. They gave me zero. They paid two grand late, but the ad started uh, the following Monday. And since then, I have generated nine leads, two phone calls, and one of them is an actual like minute, 30 second phone call of guys saying, look, I need a lot of dental work and blah, blah, blah. Title, the call rail, call recording, all that fun stuff. Uh, since this started on Monday, I've gotten nine leads for $11.39 each. I don't know if that's a lot or a little, but shit, it's working. Um, and the ad is the standard stuff, like sick and tired of blah, blah, blah. There's obviously room for improvement, but it's an ad that's up and running quickly. Any questions on this dentist ad? How's it going with uh, turning them down about their uh, get us 400 patients a month? <laughs> Oh, that fucking cunt. I mean, sorry, that bad lady. Um, <laughs> for context, uh, I put inside the course, uh, your client will 100% be on a shot of doubt lie to you. Um, that's what he's talking about. Uh, and her name is... Sharon. Uh, it's Sarah. And let me cover up her like name in the screenshot but I'm gonna show you the email that she sent me just so everyone is on the same page. Um, here we go. So this is the email that she sent. Um, the first email that I sent her was like, you got three dental leads in your first appointment yesterday. I'm a, this is the second day. And I got her three leads in the first appointment. She replies back, you said 15 to 20 a day. You said five new patients a day. What are you going to do to fill my office? I go, no, nope, 100% not correct. I said 15 to 20, it says very high. I record all my interactions. Here's proof. I said 30 customer opportunities, not 400 to 600. Um, you didn't pay on time, so I didn't start the campaign on time. You didn't give me what I need to get you more leads. And she hasn't responded since. And uh, apparently Jackie, who's my contact, now thinks this campaign is amazing. <laughs> Your clients will 100% lie to you. So if you know of a dentist and you meet a dentist, you have one less reason to have a successful dentist ad campaign, one less reason to approach them, and one less reason to not make money with them. Um, any final questions on the dentist ad? Cool. Uh, here's the car wash ad. Um, standard shit I've gone over before, but I'm officially putting in the database. Hey City. Sick and tired of car washes that aren't eco-friendly, scratch your car and don't finish the job on time. I'm blank with blank company. This is what they get for 30 bucks. This is actually their standard offer. This car wash is inside of a garage. It's not like the typical like tunnel or build out. It's just they rent five spots. You hate them as you drive through and then write them, pay them 30 bucks to watch your car and, and wash it. Um, this goes to a standard landing page. I've got a sneaky survey attached to it, a welcome text attached to it, a soap opera sequence attached to it. Um, and in Woodlands, Texas, it was a brand new Facebook page, no pixel, no custom audience, no look like, no email. And I think it's up to like 300 plus customer opportunities with this one ad. So you have one less reason not to be successful with a car wash right here. Um, by the way, if you just stole this, you'd get a two to $3,000 month client really fucking fast simply by the results and the lead sales and ROI that come with it. Any questions? Cool. Here's another one. Uh, this is Jaime, Jamie. He's not on the call right now, but this was his first dentist ad that he ever did. Um, hey, McCallum, sick and tired of waiting for an appointment, unfriendly staff and expensive treatments. I'm Dr. Nero with Lingma Dental. Blah, blah, blah for $69. Um, I think it's the same blah, blah, blah everywhere you go. Um, and then he has an interesting line, plus learning three secrets for better hygiene to regain that confident, bright smile. I don't know if that matters. And who the fuck knows? But he ran the ad five miles around, everybody, using conversions, not traffic or engagement, just conversions. Got 56 leads in 30 days. Nine people showed up at the office to redeem the voucher, which is cool. And three dentists upsold 
from those nine. He realized his front desk sucks. Um, and this was the first ad that he ran ever. Then he turned that free trial into a pay trial of 997. And they are up for renewal today. What's also interesting is Jamie, like everybody else, naturally freaks out about their first ad account. Um, and he sent me a bunch of messages last night and even in the inner circle group saying, the ad's dying, I don't know what to do, this is gonna be horrible, they're not gonna sign. And then James was like, it's fine. You got like 45 leads in a month, it's great. And then he woke up and he immediately got five more. Um, this is another dentist ad that is just plain old working right out of the gate and it seems to be working up to two months out of the gate as well. Um, any questions on here? Cool. Here's another one, it's from Brett Watts. He did an interview earlier today and he actually showed me three private messages of people that wanna pay him to help figure out how to make their paid ticketing event successful, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, this is for a private group brewery tour. They get a bus, fill it with you and your bunch of your drunk friends and drive you around town, bar hopping. I'm like, that's the best Tuesday ever. <laughs> um, 25 miles around the city. Anyone that has an upcoming birthday and anyone has a birthday in that month. So like your June campaign for birthdays in June, May campaigns for birthdays in May. Um, and he got that structure in that format from James is at. Um, he got less than $4 leads, $4 leads. And he was giving away 10 vouchers for a hundred bucks off a private tour with the Charlotte Brewery Tours. Uh, what's even more interesting is that he ran custom research for this. That's how he figured out the verbiage and the language. And he leveraged this into a real life event that we talked about in the interview where he got paid a flat rate, didn't pay for ad spend, and then made a scaling commission or sliding commission on ticket sales. Um, he ended up selling 2,000 tickets to this company's brew fest event, which is pretty fucking cool. Um, so, you know, stuff like that. Uh, any questions? No. Did anybody see the interview today? Jack did. Oh yeah, Jack was asking questions. That's funny. Yeah. Um, but I think Brett found his niche because yeah, James and Leon was helping him. Um, and maybe Brett can like make 10, 15, 20 K a month pretty darn fucking fast just by running three or four events. Um, here's another one. This is Francis ad Titan roofing and siding written by the brand guys. Uh, hey, Fox Valley homeowners. This is Nate with Titan roofing. I have an old roof that needs to be updated. Maybe thinking about it's time to switch out the steel roof. Switch out to a steel roof. Send a message. I'll contact you personally within 24 hours for free inspection. Uh, 25 miles around the city. Homeowners that are likely to move. Married men and women, 35 to 65. You got 10 leads at 27 bucks each, which honestly isn't that bad because roofing jobs are like 80 grand, so it's fine. Um, Customer research did a little bit of writing, but we didn't come up with much, so it just threw something up, and this was done before I left to Florida. So Francis, any thoughts, feelings, ideas, colorful commentary? Um, I mean, we're gonna, I think, because we had to run into a messenger about right away, we've got had a lot more people like click in for the free inspection, but then end up not giving any of their information. Um, so we're gonna try a landing page and test against that. Um, also gonna try like a B testing the messenger bot asking possibly for like their address first or something else before the phone number um, kind of warm them up a little bit I guess so we're, uh, we're kind of at that point right there we're gonna get with him sometime next week and actually shoot some video and cool. see if that helps at all oh so none of these 10 leads turn into dollars yet oh um he's gotten five bids or five uh, proposals, projects, whatever, off them so far. So he's just waiting for them to close. Wait, um, and, and this that, ad is fucking working. <laughs> Holy <yes>. shit. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Uh, and he even got one for a steel roof, which is something he's been trying to focus on. So he's pretty happy about that right away too. So what's the average customer value for a roofing job? Um, Around here, it's a little less, but I mean, probably somewhere between eight and twenty thousand, I would guess. That works. Yeah, so you could have made your guy twenty grand off thirty dollars worth of leads. Pretty much, yeah. That works. All right, so I consider this a win. Like the way you started your sentence, I was like, hmm. But shit, if he's already like writing proposals, that counts as a win, I think. Mm hmm. For sure. 
fucking Francis, be excited. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you, I guess. Uh, uh, any thoughts or feelings or ideas for Francis questions about this ad or anything? Where do you get the copy from? Where that dog come from? You know, normal stuff. Nope, nothing. Cool. Pharmacist, uh, this was one of the first ads that I ever did. I'm in Miami there in Sweetwater or Clearwater on the west side of Florida. In Clearwater, tired of plot flashes, night sweats, and mood swings. Click here to claim your voucher. I got that from the customer research, so I prompted the audience with the customer research at first. I ended up getting about 35 responses, so they just wrote the ad for me. Um, I asked the pharmacist, what's your highest volume offer that gets people in the door today? Like, tell me what people normally do for something that's like 20 to 50 bucks. And he said, we've got a $30 thing, $20 thing. I said, tell me more about it. And we realized pretty quickly he's doing this for about 25 bucks. And he pre-negotiated with uh, like his referring doc for 200 bucks off. So there's the offer. This came from their customer research and it just plain old darn worked uh, in terms of phone calls, in terms of leads and all that stuff. Um, I targeted everybody with their, in a radius, as well as people who engaged on Facebook, email list, custom lookalike, all, all that fun stuff. We got 90 leads in 30 days, um, maybe 80. I don't know, I deleted the account a while ago. Um, and it was 30 phone calls, which is pretty cool. Uh, what's even better is because I was recording the phone calls, I could listen in when the front desk didn't pick up the fucking phone or didn't follow the script or anything like that. Um, so if you know of a pharmacist, you have an ad that works. Any questions? questions. Why is the, um, you have twenty four ninety nine up in the copy and then like down below the picture yeah. is thirty nine. Because this is a screenshot that I sent to him and I was like, I need this approved. I was like, oh, just kidding. It's the wrong pricing. It ended up being twenty four ninety nine. That's the real pricing. It was just like okay. a typo in it. Um, and then I just happened to find this thing amidst all the text messages I ever sent to somebody. I was like, oh, I just need to have this right now. So that's what I did. Okay, good deal. Yeah, not like the ad went live like that. Uh, what happened with that account? Like, is he not like a current client or what happened? Oh, so I caught him lying so many times that it just wasn't worth it. Like being frustrated with, like I was only making like a thousand bucks a month with the account. And this is when the bike shop was coming on board and the car wash was coming on board. And right. it was, like, which one do I focus on? A guy that's lying to me and paying me a thousand bucks or a guy that's lying to me and paying and, and then making like 5,000 bucks. So, Fair enough. <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, this is the first time I experienced a customer like blatantly lying to me. Um, right. He's like, that person didn't talk about, you know, the offer. And I was like, let me play back the tape for you. Mm -hmm. And then like all of a sudden he realized for the first time, somebody's calling him out on his lies. Um, and it was this guy right here. So I think that like worked out in my favor, not in his. So what are you going to do? Cool. Thanks. Then there's this sucker. Um, this is a child behaviorist, uh, really weird niche, totally flying blind, got no response from the customer research and all of her Facebook engagers are really based out of India and Africa. She's got like 30,000 fans or some huge number. And she gave me admin access. I go, where are your fans located? She's like, they're all in Miami. I go, well, 90% of them are not. I kind of did a screenshot. Turns out she bought a Facebook fan page off Fiverr or something like that to bump up the numbers so that she could be Facebook famous. Um, and the first iteration of this ad was all people are all the non Miamians liking and engaging. Right? So they were just, it was like a bot network, just like sharing with themselves or some shit. Um, the next version of this ad, I specifically excluded the fans of the page. And then we started generating customer opportunities. Um, we started running this, I would say, it says April 13th, but I want to say like April 7th or something like that. Uh, hey, Miami mom and dads, is your child acting up at home, having trouble concentrating or not accomplishing their goals? I'm being sure to try up stem, so blah, blah, blah. Um, what I had to do was figure out her offer. What's interesting is if you go to her website, she sells this for 200 bucks. I go, so how many of these have you sold? And she goes, zero. I go, zero for 200 bucks. And she goes, yes. I go, well, tell me about your cost for this $200 product. As it turns out, the only cost was really the book that she has to put in the mail. Everything else is delivered online like a normal thing. Like even the posters are like printed out yourself. 
So I said, okay, so how about we price accordingly, get people in the door, and then you upsell them to your $800 or $3,000 training package. She goes, yes. So we dropped the price from 200 to 25. And pretty quickly, we started generating customer opportunities. It says 20 customer opportunities in 30 days. I think we're up to 29 now. Let me check real fast. And she paid $2,900. Um, does the strategy sessions, all that fun stuff. So let's look at Trium. Yeah, we're up to 29 customer opportunities, which is pretty cool. Um, and these are people that are calling, interacting with the sneaky survey, a welcome text. Um, this is her first time. She spent 25 years in public practice, like at institutions or hospitals, psychologists, staff psychologists, stuff like that. This is her first attempt at selling. Um, and she's very bad at it. So we're probably not going to continue the contract simply because she has not generated any sales from her leads. That's not a me thing. That's a her thing. Um, and she's doing a really good job of updating the customer database sometimes. I'll show you right here. Triumph. Come on, Google. Oh, maybe not. Um, but yeah, she only updates the customer database like half the time, fine, whatever. Um, but even if she decides to renew, I probably won't simply because she's just not generating any sales. And the only reason I take on clients at the $2,900 level is because I genuinely want them to go to five and 10K, not stuck at the $2,900 level. Um, so that's that lady. Any questions? Yeah. Hey, Jeff, you said uh, 28 leads in or 28 customer opportunities in 40 days, right? Yeah. So, so her uh, risk, uh, risk aversion policy kicked in then? Yeah. So the, the way the risk aversion policy works, the way I say it is like, uh, you will get 30 customer opportunities in 30 days. I will pay you next month's bill. Right. Okay. So I'm going to pay your next month's bill, which is this month. So uh, 2,900 um, of that, you got $500 of ad costs. Yeah. So 29 becomes 24. Okay, great. So I only made $1,900. Right. Uh, but it's not like I'm going to keep running this darn thing. Right. I'm just going to look, we hit 30. I think I'm closing it out because you're not trading any sales. Gotcha. So it, I, I guess my question is, is um, if you, if it was like a client that you were planning to continue with, but say you got like 25 in the first month and it was like, okay, five, is it then 35 for the second month? Like, or do you just kind of say like, I'll figure it out. So if I'm close, I will just up the ad spend in the last like four or five days of the week to hit that 30. Yeah. Um, if it's so far away, um, then I'll just like consciously go like, is it worth renewing or trying to renew? If it's not, I'll just hit the 30 and then close it out. Um, so like, let's say the car wash or a car wash came on board and we just couldn't get traction with the account um, and the ads weren't sticking. I mean, the way Facebook is set up, you, you can throw money at it and Facebook will solve it. So if the car wash is like day 27 and now I'm on like customer opportunity 27, fuck it, throw a hundred bucks in there, hit 30 and then get them to renew next month because I want car wash. I know it'll work, just take some time. Yeah. I don't think that's the case with this. I think this is just not gonna work. So I'm gonna hit 30 and then say, see you later, goodbye. Makes sense. Sounds good. Yeah, cool. So, gotta, I'm sorry guys. You gotta what? I gotta head out. I'll catch you guys later. Okay, bye. See ya. Have a good weekend. So we went over the dentist ad. Real life ad is generating customer opportunities fast. Um, from the day I've turned it on, it's generated between one and two per day, um, including a couple phone calls and two scheduled appointments, which is awesome. She just needs one appointment to turn into an upsell and she's paid for the whole campaign. Um, car wash ad, like if you want a car wash ad agency in a box, this is the first step to it. Like a real life car wash ad that's generating real life customer opportunities. Um, this is tied to soap opera sequences, sneaky surveys, call tracking, call recording, customer database. So I know when my client's lying to me, which just happens all the time, and I can call them out, and that helps keep them longer. Um, Lima Dental, this is Jaime or Jamie's first ad. Um, he generated 56 leads in 30 days, and then they renewed, which is pretty cool. Uh, Brett generated sub $4 leads for the $100 offer, which is pretty darn cool. Um, and it's a brewery tour with up to 30 friends. So I think that's effing expensive. Um, my thinking is like 
30 people on a bus tour, was that 50 bucks a piece, $1,500, easy win. And then you leverage this into running Facebook ads for the actual event. We've got, hey McKinsey, we've got an actual roofing ad that's generating proposals, which is cool. So everybody knows of a roofer or wants a roofer because roofing jobs are between eight and 20 grand. And then this ad has generated 10 leads at 30 bucks each. And five of those leads turn into proposals, which is pretty darn fucking cool. If you just did one proposal a month, your roofing ad would be successful. Pharmacist, 90 leads in 30 days, including 30 phone calls. Everybody knows a pharmacist. And as people get older as a uh, culture and society, HRT therapy is gonna become a bigger thing. I ran this ad, my suggestion is you call, track, and call record. You also do customer research first, so you know what to put in it. I don't think you can copy and paste this. And then finally, the child behaviorist ad that was kind of shot in the dark. I still made money with the account. Um, I probably won't renew because the numbers aren't even close and she can't close. So that's kind of the end of it. But that's the basic idea. That's the whole version two of the working offer database. Now we've got car washes, breweries, roofers, pharmacists, child behaviors, biking gyms, real estate agents, dentists, carpet cleaners, and then a video of the discussion. So what else did you guys want to go over as far as the working offers that are working today and how you can leverage them into an ad client tomorrow? No, nothing. Best call ever. <laughs> I just got on, so I... I have an excuse. Yeah, it's no worries. Yeah. Jeff, you're the greatest ever. The greatest. <laughs> um, so one of, one of the normal frustrations that happens as you're trying to close accounts and get people interested in buying what you have to sell is either the confidence that you know it's going to work or getting up and running fast. In your brain, as a human being, you think you need to have something to sell first. Makes total sense. There's no fighting it. That's why we have a working offer database. Because if you can find a working ad, then your brain says it's okay to approach a car wash. Then your brain says it's okay to approach a dentist. Then your brain says it's okay to approach a brewery touring company. But what's really cool is everybody in the inner circle has contributed to this working offer database. This stuff works. And it's one less excuse your brain is going to give you as to why you can't approach a roofer. That's why you can't approach a pharmacist. That's why you can't approach a child behaviorist. There are a lot of businesses out there that desperately need what you have to sell that are not gyms, that are not chiropractors, that are not dentists. You don't have to fight. You don't have to do Facebook ads. You don't have to cold call, you don't have to email. These people are going to chambers of commerce, rotary clubs, meeting and greeting, desperately wanting a better opportunity to pitch eight to $20,000 jobs. And you have the opportunity to do that today. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Very cool. Was there anything else you wanted to go over today in our limited time together? One second, um, with the car wash, okay? I'm thinking about the car wash offer that you have. So you get 30 customers opportunity to every car wash, right? Mm -hmm. They get how many $30 uh, car uh, conversions? How many more or less from the 30 opportunities that you get them? So I'm going to answer that after I answer this question. Okay. The, the preamble for customer opportunities is customer lifetime value. How much is it worth to you getting somebody paying you money? As it turns out, the average car wash person that goes to this car wash will go back once every six weeks and spend 30 bucks. So there's 12 months in a year times four weeks. There's, let's just say 52 divided by six. That's 8.6 rotations, 8.6 times 30. So each customer is worth 258 bucks. So each time I get a customer to go in, they're worth 258 bucks. And the question is conversions. How many people actually buy their stuff? I can't ever tell. I don't. They don't want to tell me. That's just how businesses work. They don't want to tell me exactly how much money they're making. This isn't e-commerce. But I can tell them beyond a shadow of a doubt that when people opt in, 
They're responding to my sneaky survey saying nobody called them back. They're responding to my welcome text saying, hey, can I come by Thursday at two o'clock? And then I'm generating two, three phone calls a day of people that want to buy their stuff. So it's almost secondary to the customer opportunities. I'm proving that this stuff is working so much that they have all these opportunities and chances to sell $258, $258 for this stuff. I don't know out of the 30 customer opportunities, how many people actually walk in the shop. No, no, what, what, what I'm asking is, if this uh, app works and the landing page works, why, why, why is, why I'm not taking action and going to a local car wash place? Okay, it seems so simple. I know, but in order for me to convince the car wash owner here, I, I'm trying to make sure, like you said, that I have a good offer for him. So the good offer will be go to the landing page, fill their name in order to download the. No, no, no. So the reason why a business buys from you is different than a reason why a client opts in. Sorry, other way around. The reason why a business buys your services is different than a, why a lead opts in. The reason why a business buys your services is directly because of the pitch meeting, 100% beyond a shadow of a doubt. If you are not pitching this way, they will not buy from you or they will argue your price or they will negotiate down or they will argue free trial. If you're not using the proposal, then they will argue or not pay as much. You have to be using those two things to get a business to buy from you. That is different than presenting an offer that your end customer wants. So the business here, the car wash company, is buying from me leads, direct measure results, somebody yelling at their staff for them, somebody following up, making sure that their marketing is working, auditing their phone calls, all that stuff. One of those six things I just mentioned is this. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So your next question was, what about this offer? It works. It's their highest volume offer, simply wrapped in customer research, shown to everybody within three miles. Okay. It's easy. Just got to use this. Sell with the proposal. This is one of the six things that you're doing pretty consistently to keep your clients. If all you're doing is just the Facebook ad, they're going to leave. Do you ever change like the 30 customer opportunities guarantee? Like we're possibly going to try um, going after like a, like a contractor that does some rooms and like their minimum rooms, like 25 grand. So like, I think it's going to be like a lot fewer opportunities that they're going to get each month without like a ridiculous budget. So, um, the, the customer opportunity, what I found is the best businesses that work for me are normal businesses that like you can go to time and time again. The challenge with 30 customer opportunities is the guy just needs one and he's 10 X to spend with you. Right? So that's when you as the agency owner can be like, look, usually, I work with home construction companies, car washes, chiropractors, dentists, and I do a 30 customer opportunity guarantee. I can't do that with you because sunrooms are super unique and super weird. And honestly, you only need one sale and you have 10 extra budget. So here's what I'm going to promise you. I'm going to promise you that you get at least one phone call every month that, and half of those will turn into an opportunity to propose, to write out a proposal. I'm going to monitor the phone calls. I'm going to make sure that these leads are legitimate and then you're calling them back as soon as possible. If you do that, I will promise I generate one phone call for you every single month. If you do that and according to these onboarding docs, you're closing in 50%, then you've got a positive ROI campaign. Is that something you're interested in? And then he goes, yes. And then you go, okay, shit, hold on. And then you go and you change the proposal and then you bring it back over. Um, hopefully you've like done that before, but that's something I'm experimenting with now because now I've got a home remodeling company coming in next week and their average job is 75 grand. I mean, 30 customer opportunities is just not realistic considering they do one job a month. Mm -hmm. So that's my thoughts and feelings. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. So you would stay with the, um, the, the state, the, the 2,900, 3,000, like your base package, like we'll put it into you terms, but then instead of saying, I'm going to guarantee you 30, I'm going to guarantee you one opportunity and then kind of scale up from there. You wouldn't kind of resize the package. So what I found is that the $2,900 is an easy yes. And I want them to have an easy yes. I don't want them to have to go quarter by quarter and talk to their wife and play around with money and blah, blah, blah. I don't want them to do that. I could say, 
it'll be $15,000 a month and then I'm gonna wait six months. Or I quote a number that's somewhat easy for yes to the, for an easy yes for them to digest, an easy yes for them to get things going. And then once that ball moves, then we can upgrade them over the course of time. The biggest mistake I made in the beginning was a headache therapy company. I was like, what the fuck is that? But people have cluster headaches. Like people from all of the United States fly to Miami for this one procedure for a cluster headache. I quoted them four grand a week. I was like, okay, great, fine, whatever. They're still waiting for approval. That was eight months ago. If I said $2,900 a month, then they would be up to 10 grand really fucking fast, right? So what I found is $2,900 a month is an easy yes. Most businesses are saying, let's give it a try. And then I change the guarantee. That's what I'm playing around with now so that I can get them in the door and then they'll spend more money over time. Okay. I like that. Change it to like a better, more introductory at that rate. Correct. Um, like uh, Austin Croman Whitaker. I don't know why I say all three of his names. Austin Croman. Um, he has a home construction company at 5K, which is awesome. Um, but it took like three weeks for them to pay. So in my head, I'm going, would that have been, would they have signed faster if you could have for 29? And then two weeks later, they said, how about more leads? And then they would have been at four or five or 10. Um, we've all got clients where like, if we just had gotten them in the door, they would have spent a lot more money by now. And so my philosophy for growing is just get them spending money with you and then they'll spend more money over time. Is that the guy that um, does the real estate and mortgage too? Real estate, mortgage, insurance, brokering, and now he's playing around with big dollar accounts too. Um, he's, he's now doing this. Like everyone has that moment. He is at that inflection point where he's becoming really fucking famous on the internet really fast. Um, he has a website called Austin Fix My Ads. That's his brag sheet. He sends people there. They pre-qualify themselves and he schedules a meeting and closes at 29, 39, 4900 per yard fast. Yeah. Um, so if, say what? What's the name of the website? Uh, Austin Fix My Ads or Fix My Ads Austin, something like that. Let's look. Yeah. No, that's not it. Austin Fix My Ads. Oh, he changed it. It used to be fun. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> I think it is. Well, it used to be fun. Now it's not anymore. That's what happens when you go mainstream. I know. Let's <laughs> <laughs> try to be normal now. Um, where is. Damn. Oh, well, whatever. We used to have that type of thing. Um, who's playing music? Somebody. Um, what other questions if you want to go over before we call it quits? I like 45 minutes because then like it keeps time compressed and doesn't things going out like for no reason at all. Um, we now have in the working offer database, another dentist, a car wash, another dentist, uh, a private brewery tour, a roofing company, a pharmacist, and a child behaviorist. It's one less reason you have to not approach a business, to not get your ads up and running, and to not scale quickly. We talked about how you should price to get them in the door. 2,900 works for me, maybe your number is lower, and then get them spending more money over time. 18 months in now, I'm playing with a customer opportunity guarantee that I wouldn't recommend unless you're doing like a high ticket item. Um, but yeah, so everything is in here. Um, I'll include a link to it. Any closing comments, concerns, thoughts, questions? Yes, no, maybe once, twice. <laughs> Have a good day, everybody. See you later. Bye. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. I'm trying to do that. I'm, I'm focused to start seeing how to launch. This, this guy, which is a poker coach, I convinced him to put a course together. Cool. Uh, I'm going to do three previous videos. I'm going to launch it for in 20, 30 days, and we're going to split the, the winnings. I don't Good know. Stuff. If that's well, let me, let's go. Oh, shit. Jack McCarthy's on the line. What's happening, buddy? What's up, bro? Hey, it's How been a while. What's going on with your music? How are you guys doing? Oh, it's good, man. It's busy. Um, figured I would just hop 
spin. Got a, I've got a pitch with a dentist on Monday. Nice. Got them through a, a Ravi video. Nice. And I told them the price over the phone on the discovery call. No. Meeting anyway. <laughs> I was so mad. I was like, nah, we don't do that. I have to ask you questions first. And they were like, can you ask us some questions now so you can give us a ballpark? And I was like, yeah. what's a customer worth for you? And I was like, and they were like $1,200 a year. And I was like, if I could get you 30 customer opportunities a month, would that sound like, yeah. And I was like, okay, it's $2,500. <laughs> All right, let's book a meeting. So I guess it worked, right? Yeah, I wasn't happy about it, but hey. Well, I got, in, I got in a fuck it mindset where I was just like, you know what? They need me and I don't need them. So it happens and it works. Well, as long as it fucking works, right? I, I do want to say recommend that it. or drop the comment. If not, we'll just get this party started. But the good news uh, is we have ads for you, dentists, and a couple other ones, which is pretty cool. Sick. But whatever, let's get this party started. This is volume three of the working offers database. Every once in a while, all of us will get together put our ads in a big Excel file or slide deck and send it out to everybody so that we have one less reason to go talk to an actual business. Um, I dropped my ads in here. Uh, ben dropped his ads in here. Uh, Brett, uh, John, Michael, like a whole bunch of people. So let's get this party started. The first is my car wash. I'm now doing videos for the car wash. It's literally just a video of their stock footage with uh, like a non royalty. Is that right? Well, you don't have to pay per play. Is that right? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's just a audio thing, slide decks, just like this. Um, what's interesting is just using this video instead of the actual like normal photo, we got 40 car wash appointments. Um, and you can see it like it peaks and troughs and all that stuff. But it got to one point, like one weekend, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine actual appointments for car wash, which is pretty darn cool. Um, and when they run out of business, I just turn the ad on and all of a sudden people schedule appointments, which is pretty darn cool. You'll notice it's the same offer as always, same text as always. The only thing that changed is the actual video. I'm not doing percentage views. This is just a conversion ad, sending out to everybody and then seeing what happens. Um, fucking works. Uh, next up was by Ben. Uh, ben runs us at seven miles from the studio location. He does the top 10, 15, a top 50% of household income. Facebook made this change. You can't do it by dollars. It's not a percentage. Um, he says it's a video just introducing the trainers, nine leads for 30 bucks. Don't know if that's a lot or a little, but literally says, why do you use a penis emoji? God damn it, Ben. <laughs> hey, area, time to fall into fitness and get a hold of the special deal we're offering this month. The first 10 people are discounting personal training sessions on only 40 bucks, down to 28 bucks. Here's everything you get, which seems pretty darn cool. I don't know if any of these leads converted. We never really know. I didn't ask him. Um, next up is the bike shop. My bike shop has gone through a couple versions and iterations. This is the second one, the third one I included in the course. Uh, this is literally inviting people to come on a bike ride. What's cool about bikes is if you go on a bike ride, you'll end up buying a bike or an upgrade afterwards. I asked the bike shop owner, hey, do you do anything as a team? Do you go on bikes? He says yes. So I just do this. People sign up all the time. And as it turns out, if you're flying into Miami, you go on a bike ride, you've got an F ton of money and you end up buying a bike. So that's what I did. I just targeted everybody that travels into Miami. Um, and I did bicycling and then like 30 other related categories. We're only doing one lead every other day, but their sales went up. Like this ad, he says, brought in $63,000 last month, which is pretty darn cool. Targets only people traveling in and out of Miami. Uh, they go on a bike ride and then he sells five to 10K bikes. Only needs one or two sales a week because you're up and up and down. Um, this is one from Brett. Uh, he ran this ad as a customer research ad. Um, but what's interesting is the customer research that tie, was tied to this, uh, got $800 in revenue before the ad went live, which is cool. Um, he then followed up with an actual ad right here. Click download, get $50 off weed control, insect fire ant control, lawn disease and all of that. He did homeowners, um, within X mile of radius. He actually dropped pins. And that's the areas that he services or do, does not service. So not like a serviceable zone around the location, but just wherever. Um, looks like men 35 to 45 and men 46 to 65. Um, men 46 to 65 are around $6.50 a lead, which is pretty darn cool. Um, so this is very much like a continuity program. 
Like you're literally buying a lawn care treatment and then the business has an opportunity to sell you month after month after month, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, this is from John Michael. Apparently he's kicking ass with pest control. Like there's literally an ongoing thread in the inner circle how like he keeps getting hundreds of leads a month. Um, and he says, hey, blank residents, sick and tired of blank, blank and blank. Cool. My name is uh, et cetera and I'm doing something amazing to promote. I'm doing a full indoor pest control treatment which eliminates all ants, mice, roads, all the bad stuff. Um, so you can join your home again with 100% repay, respray guarantee for only $45. Click here to claim your voucher. Price won't last long. And you can kind of read it down along the lines. I don't know if he actually ran custom research to figure this out, but holy crap, Al, it definitely, Al, what's going on? It looks like it's definitely working. Um, he says the phone is working nonstop and he measures it through call rails. Um, he's doing new customer opportunity text to so like lead notifications. We've got a hundred customer opportunities in the first week, 150 in the first week at 82 cents. What the fuck, right? Um, and he dialed it back and he's still getting 47 a day. He did four uh, split tests, areas, genders, and about 16 ads. Custom research was, was run in the beginning. I don't know how he got this darn thing approved, but holy shit, it fucking works. So if you know of a pest control company that wants an extra five to 10 customers, there's one less reason not to talk to them. Fabrizio dropped in an ad. This was a company in Aventura. Hey, Aventura nearby areas, sick and tired of feeling embarrassed to smile, mouth pain, or trying to find an affordable, reliable dentist. There you go. Um, he targets seven miles around the business, got 40 customer opportunities, uh, and two treatments at over 5K each. Um, I don't know how much it costs per customer opportunity, but they're giving away a free dental panoramic x-ray and implant consultation. So that seems pretty darn cool. And lastly, from Al, who just joined, Botox, which seems awesome. Hey, Savannah, want to look great and as we say goodbye to summer and head into the holiday season, awesome copy. I'm Dr. Blank, we're offering a free consultation and Botox for only $10 per unit to the first 30 people. Click here to get your voucher. He says he dropped multiple pins around the area for an effective seven mile radius, targeted women over 25, and got 57 customer opportunities in three weeks, which is better than I've ever done. And they did 3K so far with tons more booked coming in. Al, can you talk about this for a bit? Yeah. Um, so basically that, that one on the left is the first ad that we've got. Um, we were just running it straight to a lander. I mean, I basically took the, the martial arts lander that we did for our, our trial run, our guy here and, uh, copied it, changed the colors to match the, the, uh, the clinic thing, uh, used the same image on, uh, on the lander and put a little timer, a little two minute countdown and everything like that. Uh, and she actually had only one review so far because she's actually a fairly new clinic. So it's her and two assistants. And uh, so got people in there and just did the, did the standard thing where we sent the, uh, sent the text, sent a text an hour later, um, had them in on emails, sent the, you know, sent the voucher as the first email and then did the five day follow up. So that's what drove most of the the ads or most of the uh, the leads so far, and um, we actually went in. Uh, Zach went in because he's local there and went in and trained her staff on how to actually call because uh, one of them was kind of old and the other one is it was just not that tech savvy and so they just it took them a little bit to to train. So I'm actually following up with people now and they're they're booking a whole lot more people. So she has she has people coming in on average like. Two hundred to three hundred dollars. Uh, a couple of people paid up to seventeen hundred dollars because she sold them on fillers and all kinds of things. So, um, yeah, she's she's making bank on this, and and she we started her out at a thousand bucks a month. So she's she's already made profit. Um, the second one out for some reason, like for about a week, the first ad like just one day it just literally flatlined, like no leads, nothing for I mean, it, it just quit. I mean, just cold turkey. So not sure, um, but uh, so we, what we did is we launched these new ones, and we decided we go ahead and try the messenger ads. So that's where I came up with the little the Kiss Method voucher delivery template. So um, we started that, and that sat while we actually have two different uh, two different messenger ads running. One's with a brunette, one's with this blonde older woman, and the blonde's clearly winning because uh, like in just a day we've got five leads on, for five bucks. Very nice. Did you see any challenge with the follow-up? Did people want to pay before they get there? How much is, does the doctor take like a loss when it's only 10 bucks or how does that work? Uh, basically, I mean, they're, they're getting people booked and then they come in and they just, you know, they, 
she has a consultation with them because she's uh, she seems to be um, you know some some of these clinics they just literally they'll sit you down and just shoot your face full of blood Botox without even bothering to add, you know like ah you don't need a consultation you're wrinkled bam you know and yeah. she seems to take a, a very much uh, a more of a doctor approach to it she wants to have a consult and say like you know no you don't need 50 units you just need maybe 30 or 20 or something like that or and gotcha. she'll, she'll upsell them if they need it or something like that but um her her big deal is she once she's got them booked it's like crack they they come back in you know a, a couple of months and they have to have it again so she's got lifetime clients it's super interesting so what i like is that like the ten dollar thing seems like easily digestible even yep. though they're going to go in and spend two three and even seventeen hundred dollars well it, chicks know about this stuff <laughs> yeah. just plain old I know words. about cubic inches i know about carbs you know uh, yeah. So, yeah. So anyway, yeah. So that's what, that's what I've got. My question was like the last one that you, that you did with the dentist, you know, about the, the smile and everything like that and pain and like, how do you call out the pain points? What's a good formula if there is one for not getting the ads denied? Because the first met, the first uh, revision of our messenger ad was, um, instead of been thinking about getting Botox, uh, we actually put in, um, you know, do you want to erase crow's feet frown line, frown lines? Um, that got denied because we're calling out people's attributes. Yeah. So uh, I, how can you call that pain point? Because I'm sure we'd get better conversions if we did have a pain point. Uh, Fabricio, can you talk a little bit about this? Did you have trouble like getting this ad approved or anything like that? If I got, what what do you mean? I didn't have any any problems with this. Huh. No, no, nothing. Why, why, why are you saying I got a problem approved? No, we're asking, yeah. did you have a problem getting this sick and tired uh, not approved? No, no. It was actually it was two months ago. Sure. I don't know if that changes now, but it, it I didn't might. Have to... It might. It, and I think it, it just, I think it's just kind of a, it might just be a crapshoot, but I mean, that sick of mouth pain and, and being embarrassed to smile, if I ran that ad, it'd get denied. <laughs> <laughs> what what I discovered is that I, I got something similar to that when I was running dentist ads and even car wash ads. Like you can mention pain once. That's what I figured out. You can mention the word you or your once. Anything more than that, and it triggers the flag. And so I'm thinking that maybe you mentioned pain in your ad or you. Was that the case or not really? Um, I, I think I might have said, do you want to, you know, do you want to uh, erase crow's feet and frown lines? So. I could have probably changed it to want to erase or or want to reduce. I could probably say want to reduce the looking effect. to get rid of looking to get rid of crow's feet, right? Yeah. Like Our what feet. I found is that like butchering the sentence and then reworking it works. Right. Um, it's the your and it's the pain. Like maybe one, pick one, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, sick and tired of feeling too embarrassed to smile, mouth pain. So there's no your, right? Gotcha. Um, okay. Things like that. So that might have been. So it. if you actually target it as you, they're gonna knock it out. Or, okay. or, yeah. may, or may, maybe it's the landing page. I don't know how the landing page is structured. Uh, they see. They, I think they see the landing page too. Yeah. Yeah. And the landing page is is very basic, but this was a messenger ad, so they're going right into a bot. So there's no lander. Okay. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Well, I is this the first ad you've run for Botox, Al? Yep. Blew it out of the park. <laughs> well done. Yeah, Zach, Zach did a good job on the on the copy on the initial, and then I set up all the I did all the tech and everything. But um, yeah, uh, and you can put that put that template link in there if you want to, because that's I, it's a super stupid simple bot link or, or bot template. For, what think, template? Uh, it's in my comments. I have oh, okay. Let's take a look. Is that the the Crozy bot or no? Yeah, yeah, that's the yeah. Okay, I'll take a look later. But yeah, very well done. Um, Let's see, uh, a couple comments about this car wash ad. Um, I ran custom research first, so I knew it was gonna work beforehand. Um, what I discovered is that I never got the result I wanted from A-B testing. That only showed me an ad that would be better. It does not save an ad that doesn't work. So I never A-B test an ad, just barely getting it. I was just restart, and then if an ad is working, I then A-B test all the way up. That's why I say don't split test or don't A-B test, because the first, in my experience, like 60 days of a campaign, is really finding what works. Uh, this is my second version of my car wash ad. First one was just an image. You've seen it before. Now it has a video and it's doing awesome. I'm literally getting appointments with the video for the same cost that leads were with the image, which is pretty darn cool. These people are actually calling. They're saying, hey, I'm coming in. I want to come in. 
Um, as it turns out, as a standard problem with my car washes, the staff doesn't show up or they're shitty at their jobs. Uh, and I literally gave a presentation at Jair's Mastermind about all the proof I've had, such as like they don't pick up the phone, they hate their car wash, et cetera, et cetera. Not my problem. This is only my problem right here and people are actually showing up. They just, I push them to a landing page, it's in the course, schedule once and then they figure it out. I don't ask them to prepay, that's like version five or six. Um, Ben's not on the line so we can't really talk about this. Again, the bike shop is stupid, simple, standard funnel. I don't even ask them to schedule an appointment, just call here. What I've discovered is that most people don't even fill out the form. They just show up for the bike ride, which is awesome. Um, or they call the business directly. Um, again, with Brett, uh, just to kind of rehash, he ran this as a custom research ad first using the standard format. What are your thoughts and feelings about lawn care? Um, people filled out the form, called, dialed, and bought before they even went the ad, wanted the ad go, to go live. Um, and it honestly blows my mind with John Michael's ad because I could never imagine that this ad would be approved ever, ever, right? But it's approved. It's got text in it and a dead rat and he's getting customer opportunities for 82 cents each. So that's absolutely mind blowing. Um, every single person here knows of a pest control person or has one less reason not to call a pest control person. Um, I think that wraps up everything as far as volume three. There's never really long lessons. Are there any questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, ideas about what we went over? Fabricio, anything? No. Jack? Yeah, you know, that image that John has in the pest control is like literally perfect. It's super imperfect. Like it's, it's a really ugly looking photo with a rat that's dead. Not super great looking like text. I mean, it looks fine. But like it's exactly what you would see shared on Facebook. Like it's super native. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like I went in my attic and that's exactly what I saw. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw that in my attic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's my attic. I don't know how we got in there, but that's my attic. Any other, anything else? Uh, Jack, anything else or no? No, no, that's it. Okay, cool. Al, any last questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, ideas? Nope, I think that's it. Chris, you on the line? Yeah, I'm here, man. Any last nope. qu questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, ideas? No, I'm just taking it all in. I think next 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 time I definitely have to share some of my some of my ads with you guys. You got it. I do want to say, Chris, I'm calling you out in front of everybody. You and I talked when I was in England, and I said you need to launch yes. your med spa course. So I'm telling you, yeah. in front of everybody, to launch your med spa course. Jeff, it's coming, man. I've been working on it today, man. It's coming. I promise you. All just right? do a Zoom call and do slide decks. Like that's your first all version, right. my man. Don't make it pretty. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'm gonna do that, man. Don't worry, Jeff. It's, it's coming. It's coming. I'll, I'll, all right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna put it out there, man. I'll. Uh, I'll. Uh, yeah. I'll launch it next week. We'll yeah, next you, week. you definitely didn't say that the last time I tried to call you out or anything like that. There's no reason <laughs> to wait till your product is perfect. You should launch first. Oh. Get five, ten people saying, "Holy shit, it works!" By the way, there's five, ten people here that would say, "Holy crap, I would love the opportunity to do what Jeff did, which is take one of these sucker shows everybody in a three K client today. Do the same with your okay. message." Um, all right, cool. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, Jeff. Very cool. Noah, what's going on? Any questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, ideas? No, I, I just came in a bit late, so I'm, I'm trying to follow what's going on. <laughs> uh, so the basic idea is that as an agency, we usually let our brains tell us that for some reason we need an ad before we approach a client. And my whole stance is like saying, no, you don't, and here's proof, but fine, right? And so all of us get together and share what's working. These are not ads that we saw on the internet, these are ads that we are running. You can right. add questions and answers and follow up through. Um, so I'll bet you dollars of donuts. You know a doctor or doctors that do Botox. You know dentists. You know pest control people. Hell, you probably know a lawn control person. Yeah. So you're now you're in a really cool position to tell that part of your brain to shut the fuck up. I have an ad that I know that works. And a person I can ask five-minute questions to. Um, so we're doing this literally because these are normal businesses that we all have access to in our respective areas. And we can literally launch an ad in 90% 90 less time because we have this stuff. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Very cool. All right, so I'm going to take a copy of this. I'm going to put it in the course. We all have access to it. Uh, thanks so much for your time, everybody. Use these ads. Land a client. Jack, we'll talk later. Uh, see you guys later. Bye. See you guys.